Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. Today, in this quick little video, I would like to prove a little identity regarding symmetric integrals and even integrals. I have used this so often, and that's why I want to make a little proof on it. So at first, what would happen if we have an even integrand over a symmetric integral? Well, what I want to show is that this is equivalent to saying we have two times the integral going from 0 to a of f of x dx. It's so warm in here. <laughs> Germany, god damn it. In the last few days it's abysmal. <laughs> okay, at first you might ask yourself what even means when a function is even. Well, all that really means is that if we plug a negative argument into this function, so f of minus x, we end up with the function itself, f of x. You might know some functions with this property, for example the cosine. Okay, that's nice. We can use this fact right here to prove this statement. So at first I would like to take a look at this integral once again. So the integral going from minus a to a of this even integrand f of x. Now we can use the linearity of the integral to break this up into the sum of two integrals. So the first one is going from um, minus a to zero of the very same integrand and adding the integral from zero to a of f of x dx to it. That's something we can do. Now I would like to introduce a new substitution. You can call it u, a u or something, your, your mother, a triangle, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to call it minus x. It doesn't matter, it's just a name. So we are going to transform x into minus x. That also means that the x is becoming minus the x in that case. And we can work with this because now we have an integral going from, if we plug minus a into this x, then we multiply it by a minus, we end up with a. And well, zero times minus one is just zero still. So we end up with this of f of x, f of minus x this time, because we're plugging minus x into here. And also we are transforming our dx to minus dx. That's the first step. And then adding this part once again, integral from zero to a of f of x dx. Okay, that's nice. And now we can use a nice property of integrals. We can distribute this minus into here and change the order, the upper and lower bounds. So then the integral is going from zero to a. That's nice, because then we have the same upper and lower bounds here. We can add them together in the end. And also we can use the property that our function is indeed even. That means f of minus x is just f of x. Let's conclude what we get at. Now we have the integral going from zero to a of f of x dx, and we are going to add the very same integral to it. Positive integral going from zero to a f of x dx. And well, adding them together, we end up with two times the integral going from zero to a of f of x dx. And that's it. That's what we wanted to prove. Awesome. Black box, green box, black boy right there. If you did enjoy this little Papa's Quickie, then please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. Don't forget to activate the notification bell so that you get all the notifications regarding my channel. If you want to support me a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. I'm doing all this stuff for free, so I would highly appreciate some support from you guys. And I until the next video, have flamble day. See ya! Akiro!